Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about XNA. XNA was an incredible game platform made by Microsoft. It basically, you could argue, invented the indie scene, and tons of indie darlings were created using XNA. And then Microsoft, Microsoft, and we no longer had XNA. That was a very sad day. But the thing is, you'll notice tons of really high-profile indie games. You can see on the screen in front of you, we're made using XNA, or in fact, a derivative of XNA, and one of which is called mono game and that's specifically what we are talking about today mono game just released version 3.8 and this is actually a really big release for a couple of reasons so we're going to jump in take a look what mono game 3.8 is all about and uh yeah let's do it all right so here we got the announcement mono game 3.8 is now available for all thanks to all the hard work uh the assemblies and tools are available at that link binaries and source code are available at that link it is an entirely open source project by the way there are some huge games uh, huge changes to mono game in this release new users start with the getting started guide existing users you're going to have to do some migration and then we got two documents to look at first we have kind of the summary of the big stuff that happened here and then we've got the change log so let's go straight ahead to the summary so what is new in the 3.8 release well the big one is dotnet core support now dotnet core is a really important thing to the future. This is one of those things that, uh, for example, Godot is going to have to talk to, um, tackle at some point in time. Because what happens is Microsoft invented C Sharp and the .NET runtime, and VB.NET and F Sharp and all the other languages. But the .NET runtime was the key part of all that. .NET was kind of like the bit that it runs on, provides all these different services for the OS level, and that's what the program were programs against. And then over time, it kind of became more cross-platform, first in the form of uh, Mono, which is where the word mono game comes from, which was a uh, Xamarin implementation of the .NET framework, and then .NET Core, which is a version of or a subset of um, the .NET framework for running on servers, on uh, cross-platform, and so on. Well, the thing is, Microsoft bought up Mono. They bought Xamarin, so they now own Mono. They're developing .NET Core, and they've got .NET framework that they're working on. And the truth is, they're trying to bring all of these back together. In .NET 5, there will be one .NET to rule them all, and that .NET is .NET Core. So if you're all about the future, you want to support C Sharp 8, you want to support .NET in the future, and you want to support all of the platforms, you want to get .NET Core support, and that is what we have here. So it makes it much easier to develop your game for Windows, Mac, OS, and Linux, and they now support the .NET Core runtime, which is definitely nice to see. Another big thing that they've done here is NuGet Description. And NuGet is a package manager for .NET. Uh, we'll head on over here. This is now going to be how you install MonoGame. So here I am in a project. By the way, there are extensions for um, Visual Studio Code as well, or you can do this entirely from the command prompt. But I'll show you installing MonoGame from inside of Visual Studio with the new support. Nice and easy. We will right click on our project right here, and then we will go to uh, Manage NuGet Packages. This will bring up a dialog for us. Ba -ba -ba -bom. All right, here we go. So you see here the list of installed packages, a brand new project. I don't have anything in it. So I'm going to go over here to the Browse instead, and then we will just type in the words MonoGame or Muno game in my case. And then here you go. And then basically the pieces that you want to grab. So if you want desktop GL support, you can bring that down. If there's a dependencies, it will resolve it. We've got the content pipeline in here. All of the pieces of Mono game are now available in a modular format in NuGet. So anything you want to install into your project. Uh, so let's say I want that one. You basically just bring it down. It figures it out. It pulls in all the packages for you and you are good to go. So that is how the installation process is going to work going forward. It's also going to make versioning a lot easier, upgrading a lot easier and all that. That's definitely nice to see. Sure, I accept all your various different licenses. So you saw we brought in a bunch of different packages here. So I'll go back here to the package. You're going to see it is there. Uh, it should also show me the dependencies, but oh, okay. So here you can see all the various different dependencies that we're having to brought in as well. So that is what NuGet is all about. By the way, if you are more of a command line kind of person, you can also come here to Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and Package Manager Console, and you can use a PowerShell uh, little embedded application here to do your NuGet NuGeting. Um, so we got lots of NuGeting goodness in this release, which is definitely nice to see. Uh, we've got so that is now how things are going to be distributed. This includes the new Visual Studio templates, which are VS Extension, Visual Studio 2019, and .NET Core command line templates. Uh, we now have templates for both Windows and Mac OS versions of Visual Studio 2019, which, by the way, stop calling the Mac version Visual Studio 2019. It is 
not. I, it kind of drives me nuts that that. Anyways, branding exercise. We won't go there. And I'm not. I'm not talking about model game. I'm talking about Microsoft in that case, as well as templates for the .NET cores, command line tools, um, SDK style projects in the repository. Uh, removed portable assemblies. So um, monoframe.portable and pipeline.portable are gone now. They recommend you use something like desktop GL and content.pipeline in their place and added a script and fixes so that MGF MGFXC can run on Mac and Windows under Wine. For more information, check out setting up a development environment for Mac OS and Ubuntu. And that's kind of the top level stuff. Now, if we come down here, this is like like the more uh, meat and bones type things that were changed to here. Are things that are like in the coding and the framework, new new functions, features, additions, changes, and so on. I'm not going to get that far into the weeds on this one because again, this is this is really implementation level stuff. So the big things in this release are the move to .NET Core and the um, move to NuGet for the installation systems. Both are definitely steps in the right direction for Mono Game forward going forward. Now I should be aware, Mono Game uh, I done a tutorial on this one it's been around for ages and for the most part xna is a pretty stable api so when you're seeing these changes that are added here uh it's all pretty minor stuff uh so there is a tutorial i did i did this back in 2015 and truth be told it's probably going to be still just as relevant as it was back then uh other than some of the um the content pipeline stuff might change a little bit. But other than that, uh, here is a walkthrough of it, uh, video and text tutorials on getting you up and running with Mono Game. So if you want to jump into and learn Mono Game, I have you covered right there. I will link that in the comments down below along with the linked article with all of the links we looked at and everything else there. And I also want you to be aware of while Mono Game is one of the major successors to the uh, XNA crown. Uh, they are by no means the only one. There's also a project out there. I covered this back in July when they did an update with the Vulcan support. There is also FNA. And FNA has kind of taken a bit of a different approach than mono games. If you're wondering why do both of them exist? Well, FNA is more of a, I have an XNA game that I wrote using XNA tools and such, and I want to make it run on different platforms. And I want it to be binary compatible, but I want it to run on different platforms. So this is more like an XNA preservation tool, uh, whereas the uh, Mono Game project is, they took Mono Game as a basis, made a cross-platform version of it, and then since then have been changing and adding and tweaking things. So if you want the purest Mono Game experience, or you're trying to port existing code, FNA is probably the way to go. If you want a larger community base and you're starting a game from scratch right now, Mono Game is probably the way to go. So that's why FNA exists. That's why Mono Game exists. And those are the two niches both of those fill. So that is the news in summary. Mono Game 3.8 released. Some really nice stuff there. Um, let me know what you think of this release. Let me know what you think of the NuGet package system and moving toward that and away from installers. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you all later and goodbye.